Governor Mark Warner devoted the vast majority of his fairly short 30-minute State of the Commonwealth address to his tax and budget plans. Virginia's tax system needs to be fixed. It's time to act now. The governor says he's tried to save money by cutting state agencies' budgets. Since I've been in office, we have cut state government more than any administration in Virginia history. And he says costs continue to rise for things like education, roads, medical costs. We face mounting security costs today that we might not have even imagined even a few short months ago. To pay for them, he wants to increase the sales and cigarette taxes and the income tax for the rich. It just doesn't make any sense that someone earning only $17,000 a year in Virginia should pay the same tax rate as someone $100,000 a year. This plan... I think he was succinct and he laid it out pretty clear. But he gave us what we needed. Uh, we are at a crossroads and I think uh, he touched a chord with uh, people on both sides of the aisle. Of course, that court may not be positive for some legislators. I've never seen a tax reform plan out of the governor. What I see is a tax adjustment plan. The governor never has proposed real reform. Some Republicans say that means balancing the state budget with that of local governments. I would suggest to you that the governor's plan is not the one that's going to be here at the end of the day.